Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we are going to start a new series where we are going to discuss about React Navigation latest version that is a V5. And in this version, we are going to complete from basic to the advanced level of React Navigation. In React Navigation V5, React Navigation has changed a lot of things that is, you know, uh, developer friendly. Before moving forward, I'm assuming you are familiar with JavaScript, React and React Native. If you are not, then it's a highly recommended you to gain some basic knowledge, then come to this video and start this series. So I have already created a, a new project named as Smurf Drill and uh, we are going to use this project to, to implement a React Navigation or V5. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, we will install dependency. So we are going to use npm and uh, this is uh, the command npm install react navigation uh, native. Uh, so I'm going to run it terminal. And uh, once it will install, then uh, we have uh, some dependency uh, packages that we are need to install in order to uh, use uh, React Navigation V5. There's uh, uh, like gesture handler, reanimated, uh, safe area context, mask view, native screens. So these are uh, uh, the packages that helps uh, uh, you to uh, use native uh, things inside a uh, React Navigation. So this is a, uh, how you can uh, install it in Expo, but we are using a CLI, then we will use these things. So I'm going to copy it and uh, uh, the mm, React Navigation is already installed here. Now I'm going to run this command and it will uh, install all the dependency here. And once it will install, then you need to do uh, cd ios and uh, then uh, run uh, pod install command to install all the uh, dependency for ios so i'm assuming you are already familiar with the uh, how to uh, use npm and install packages uh, so that's that uh, all the dependency are installed now so as uh, mentioned here to finalize the installation you need to uh, import uh, your gesture handler package inside your a uh, first entry points so maybe inside an index.js or app.js so we are going to do it inside uh, app.js so let's say here and that's it your uh, installation done here so now we will create a stack navigator for our app and for that we just need to create a navigation container first so we can import navigation container from uh, React Navigation uh, native. And here we can import um, navigation container. And we are going to replace it with profile because now we will use our navigation container. And inside that we have to create a, a stack navigator. So how we can do that? Let's see. Just import um, from stack uh, that is create stack navigator and now you can use so basically you need to uh, create stack first initialize the stack using create stack navigator and by using this stack inside navigation container you can uh, uh, add uh, stack navigator and now inside this stack navigator you can add a multiple screen so let's see how we can do that stack dot screen and uh, inside that inside this you have to add a two uh, props so first one is name and this will uh, use to call uh, you know uh, the screen and uh, you can say profile and we have already uh, we need to add a component here and we have already created a one component and that is a profile so we are going to use a profile here now you can call the screen using this name this is a profile and you can as i have mentioned you can add a multiple screen so i'm going to add uh, 
create a, one more screen or one more component, uh, you can say account. I have uh, created a quickly one more component uh, that is account, account and uh, we are going to use, uh, we are going to import this here and let's say it cut it from here. Account and I'm going to add account here. So your stack navigator is uh, ready with the profile and uh, account screen. So. So Stack Navigator is ready. Now let's see. So as you can see, initial screen like first screen, whatever you have written here, it will be your you know you know your initial screen. So initial screen will be a profile, and here's a profile screen, and uh, we have added one more account screen. So now we are going to uh, see how we can uh, moving between uh, screens now. So let's see. We will uh, move from profile screen to account screen now. So I'm going to open profile screen and here I have created this uh, mob text and shoots mob. So on click of uh, shoots mob, we will redirect screen to uh, account screen. So here I've used pressable and if you are not familiar with pressable, so then I have created one more separate video on it. So you can check it out. I'll provide a link here. And uh, now let's see. Whenever uh, you will add your screen here, or whatever component here, then by default this component will have one more prop props that will be a uh, navigation. And you can use this navigation to navigate from one screen to uh, another screen. So how you can do that? Using navigation dot navigate and uh, the name of the second screen. So let's check our stack navigator here. Uh, se second screen uh, name is account. So we have to pass account here. So let's see. You can see uh, account screen and you can go back. So this is all about uh, how we can install uh, React Navigation V5 in our app, in our app project and uh, how we can create a stack navigator and how we can move between screens. In next video, we will see how we can pass parameter to route. So uh, we can pass data from one screen to next screen and uh, we will see how we can uh, customize headers and header buttons. And uh, if we go time, then we'll see how we can uh, uh, use nesting navigators in our stack navigator. So. That's for uh, today and uh, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Please like, share and subscribe this video.